guys. Just uh, another video of my water-cooled uh, PCZ70 build. Uh, just to show you the temps that I get on my GTX 580s. Uh, and also just the layout on my fans. So, so this is the case with the side panel on. Everything closed up. Uh, at the moment, I've got the Heaven benchmark running. I'm just looping it in uh, in NV surround. Uh, 98, 99% GPU usage. It's been running for about about 20 minutes so far. Uh, when you stress test your uh, your loop, just to see how hot things get. You really do need to run it for at least, I'd say, 20 minutes, just so that the uh, the temperature of the water equalizes. Otherwise, uh, you won't get a true reading. So, make sure you, you know, when you stress test, make sure you you run it for a while. It's not like a normal air-cooled heatsink because you've got so much water in the system. It takes a bit of time for the water to reach its. Uh, what do you call it? Equilibrium, they call it. Anyway, so this is the case. Side panel on. Um, the case doesn't normally come with a windowed side panel. Uh, I bought this as an accessory from uh, that Land Lee produces. Just bought it from my local computer store. It fits on many other full tower Land Lee cases. Anyway, so the back fan is now an intake as you can see uh, I put a fan filter on it it's pretty much the only intake in this case so that's the intake uh, the top 280mm rad is in a pool configuration as you can see so that pulls air out of the case all right, um, now this is a 360mm rad, which is also in a pool configuration. So the way the air flows, it flows towards the front of the case. And behind the HDD trays, uh, you can't see, but basically there are three fans, which exhaust the hot air that comes from the rad to the back or to the side of the case so just over here in the back here you will see three fans they exhaust the hot air out anyway I've been running the heaven benchmark like I said for a good 20 minutes now about 25 minutes now and the video cards are overclocked as well this is my 24/7 overclock, which is what I run the cards at. What I run the cards at on a daily basis. Anyway, let's have a look. Huh? So I'll just quit this. Show you the temps. Alrighty, bear with me. So because my camera is so poor. I need to use the uh, the Windows magnifying tool so you guys can actually see. All right, look at that magnifying tool. So I'll open up Afterburner and I'll show you my uh, everyday overclocks. All right, here we go. So the voltage, I've upped the voltage to 1.13. 1.138 because these are micro volts. Uh, the core is running at 935 megahertz. The memory is running at 2100 megahertz. Now, if you want to see what it runs at stock, I will show you. So it normally runs at 1013, 772 on the core, 1544 on the shader. Uh, 2004 in the memory so it's a fairly decent overclock I don't think 
I need to go any higher than this, so this is pretty much my standard. Anyway, the temps, as I was saying. So, GPU 1, max temp 57 degrees. GPU 2, max temp 60 degrees. So, as you can see, it was pretty much averaging at about 60, 60 degrees. 57, 60 degrees, which is not bad considering the overclock I've got on the cards. And the benchmark was running for a good what 25 minutes so there you have it water cooling your graphic cards now if that was on air even if I had the fan speed on 100% in SLI it would probably be sitting at 80 degrees I'd reckon maybe 85 so pretty much worth it water cooling is such a good investment Get on to it guys. Thanks for watching. Do leave a comment. Thank you.